Welcome to One Minute Theatre Reviews. I'm Paul Seven Lewis, this is the London Coliseum, and I'm here to see Hairspray. The musical Hairspray opened in 2002 on Broadway and hasn't changed much since. Uh, the current production at the London Coliseum and the forthcoming UK tour replicate the original, as directed by Jack O'Brien and choreographed by Jerry Mitchell. And why not? If it ain't broke, don't fix it. And Hairspray most certainly is not only not broke, it's as strong as Emily Campbell. Now, maybe they were just glad to be back in a theatre, but the roar of the audience when the curtain went up said to me that this is a musical people love and they certainly don't want it messed with. I'm sure you know the story. Uh, it's set in the early 60s, um, and a young woman called Tracy is determined to dance on a local TV show, despite some people thinking she isn't thin enough. And in the course of that battle, she fights segregation and liberates her previously embarrassed plus-size mother. So, as a reviewer, I'm left with the cast, who are different from the original production and can make a difference. The part of Tracy's mother, Edna Turnblad, has always been played by a man. Harvey Firestein was the first stage Edna. And when the production opened in London in 2007, Michael Ball took on the role. And he's reprised it for this revival at the London Coliseum. The part of Edna doesn't give us the chance to enjoy his beautiful voice to the full, or even the complete range of his acting skills. But what we do get to appreciate is his ability as a stage performer. Through his dimpled smile, his twinkling eye contact, the sense that you're getting 100%, this man has an incredible rapport with his audience. It's as if he's bottled up sunshine and is releasing it into the auditorium. His Edna Turnblatt transforming from downtrodden domestic to dazzling diva is a joy. Well, that's the one minute review. Keep watching for more about Hairspray starring Michael Ball at the London Coliseum. The original 2002 production is still as fresh as a Baltimore crab cake. David Rockwell's set design is cartoonish and colourful within a 1960s television-shaped uh, proscenium arch and with many clever touches, like the moment three different households sing Mama, I'm a Big Girl Now, a scene you won't find in the film of the musical, and the way the Dynamite's girl group walk out of the poster and the walk-down finale crowned by a giant uh, can of hairspray. And there are the over-the-top costumes with the outrageous hairstyles, of course, by William Ivy Long. You really wouldn't want to change any of that. And the by now familiar songs by Mark Shaman and Scott Whitman are an ebullient stream of jaunty tunes and fun lyrics from the opening Good Morning Baltimore to the closing You Can't Stop the Beat. All the producers need to do is make sure that the cast live up to expectations. And this cast, around Michael Ball, are superb. Les Dennis gets uh, big billing as a well-known name, and his performance as the warm-hearted, ever-optimistic Wilbur doesn't disappoint. His duet with Michael Ball in the poignant Timeless to Me, complete with suggestive repartee and convincing corpsing, is hilarious. Michael Ball apart, the star of the show is Lizzie Bay, uh, as Tracy Turnblatt, the only fully developed character, if we're honest. She convinces throughout, whether swooning over heartthrob Link Larkin, standing up forcefully for equal rights, or ignoring obstacles and confidently dancing to the music she loves. One of the best aspects of this musical is the way insults and barriers are water off a duck's back for Tracy, even when she's left alone in prison. There's something else that's not in the movie. So you're not only on her side, but never, or rarely, do you feel sorry for her. She's an advertisement for the power of positive thinking. Rhoda Simons and Georgia Anderson are appropriately nasty as the Van Tussle mother and daughter with an unpleasant line in racism and sizeism. Uh, Mary McGinley making her West End debut impresses as Tracy's gawky friend Penny Pingleton, who defies her bullying mother. For a musical about equality of opportunity and opposing racial discrimination, the black characters rarely take centre stage. Uh, 
except for Motormouth Maybell, played by Marisha Wallace, who's as sassy a mother and as powerful a singer as she should be in a show that turns the spotlight on the role of mothers. Ashley Samuels makes the most of the part of her likeable son, Seaweed Stubbs, Penny's love interest, and Holly LeBird, Maria Mambo and Robin Rose sing impressively as the Dynamites. As I was leaving, I heard a little boy say to his presumably dad, um, I'm glad Lion King was cancelled or else I wouldn't have seen this. Well, I wouldn't want to wish any show cancelled because of Covid isolation rules and of course The Lion King is a great show but, well, I do think it was that little boy's lucky day. I give Hairspray, what else? Five stars. I hope you enjoyed this review, or at least found it useful. Uh, if you'd like to be the first to hear about my future reviews, please subscribe to this channel, One Minute Theatre Reviews. And you can read my reviews on my website, oneminutetheatrereviews.co.uk. Thank you for watching.